All right, today I'm working on a 2007 Ford Explorer 5R55S with a 4 liter. And this uh, came in uh, slipping in third or no third, had the typical P0733, and along with that is the accompanied pressure control solenoid code P0745, which is pressure control solenoid A. So I, I, get a, I still get a lot of questions uh, coming in, uh, people writing in and asking, hey, I have this you know, Ford Explorer or whatever the car may be with this transmission in it, and I have a P0745 or I have a P0775. If I go out and buy a solenoid pack and install it, will it fix the car? Um, and it may or may not. Uh, most of the time it won't. This, these codes, the 745 is pressure control solenoid A, the 775 is pressure control solenoid B, and is also 975, which is pressure control solenoid C. These codes can be electrical, and these codes can be mechanical. So you really have to scan the car to see what's going on. Um, now, the thing is this. When you do that, you could also maybe tell by driving the car to see if it shifts late, if it slips, then that may give you an idea uh, if doing the solenoid pack will fix it or not. But, you know, most of the time, uh, these pressure control solenoid codes are accompanied by the gear ratio codes. All right, so the... This one here had the P0745 and the P0733, which is gear ratio error in third. All right, if you have the 775 code, that is normally accompanied by uh, the P0732 and the P0735. And if you have the pressure control solenoid C code, which is P0975, that's fourth and fifth. P0 uh, 734 P0 735 but that you see mainly on like the 5R55 ends I rarely if, if I've ever seen it on a uh, 5R55 S or W so but here's the thing um, you, you need a when you scan the car because uh, I've seen this on more than one occasion I have a little handheld scanner also that we check for the readiness monitors uh, for the inspections and if you plug it in, you may just get the pressure control solenoid code and the other code may not show up because that has happened already. I had a wholesale account. I have a wholesale account about a mile away that called up and it says, hey, I have this, uh, you know, pressure control solenoid A code um, and maybe we can fix this here if I just uh, um, drop the pan and change the pack, clear the code, it should fix the car. They're asking me. And uh, I says, well, and I was explaining to him that it could be electrical, it could be mechanical. I said, you got to drive the car, and you got to see how the car runs. Um, and I says, what scanner are you using to get the code out of it? And he says, well, just a little handheld one because it just came in. The people came in with the check engine light. I don't want to see what code it has. I says, well, just take it, you know, drive it down here uh, because there's probably another code present. And he says, no, no, that's the only one. And I says, no, just. Um, just come down here, let me put my scanner on it. And they have a, a halfway decent scanner too, but they just plugged in the, the little handheld, like I said. So when it got here, um, you know, he was standing there, one of the uh, owners of the gas station, and it had the uh, 745 as well as the 733. So I says, you know, right here, uh, this is gonna tell you that uh, there's something going on with third gear. So. You know, using the handheld scanner, I explained to him, sometimes it doesn't show all the codes. So, uh, a lot of times when you have the pressure control solenoid A code, which it, uh, is accompanied with the rear band for third gear, um, what, it, what actually goes on, in, or the reason why those codes, the code shows up when you have an issue with the piston or you have an issue with the worn case bore, or broken band in this case this was a broken band i'm going to show you all this stuff is because that that uh, solenoid is responsible to maintain uh, the the pressure and the proper pressure in that circuit so 
when it sees that there's something going on and there's a ratio problem, so it'll throw a ratio code because it's just you know running away or there's no third. Uh, but when it sees there could be uh, uh, something going on, like with a broken piston where the pressure may be bypassing, or the case is worn out, the computer is going to blame the solenoid and flag that code. All right, and, and the front band here, which is second and fifth, is going to give you a 775 code, which is pressure control solenoid B. Again, that solenoid is responsible to maintain the proper pressure within the transmission. And if it notices there's a leak, um, ratio problem, uh, it will, again, blame the solenoid. Just like uh, I have that video on the uh, 4L60E with the broken band, uh, how it gave that like pressure control solenoid B uh, performance or stuck off because it, it, it's got a broken band, it sees a ratio problem, but again, it's blaming the solenoid, even though the band is broken. So, and as far as the pressure control solenoid C, the P0975, I never see that in the 5R55Ws or S's, all right, in the 5R55N, there is a, uh, a spring that breaks in the valve body. Uh, I believe it's called, I was just researching this last night, refreshing my memory. Uh, the 43 pre stroke uh, intermediate band uh, control spring, something like that, uh, breaks. And then you'll have no fourth and fifth. So you may get those codes on a 5R. 55N, uh, and that would be a, a gear ratio error in fourth, fifth, accompanied by a P0975. It's the 43 pre stroke intermediate band control spring. It's in a valve body. Uh, common issue on the 5R55Ns only, not on the 5R55Ws and Ss. Um, so now we'll get up uh, a little closer and just go through hey, what can cause these pressure control? solenoid codes to show up other than electrical. Now, as far as showing up electrically, um, I have seen that occasionally. We've had it here. And, you know, where the, where the harness comes in, the solenoid pack sits here, harness comes in through here and bolts down. You can get water in there uh, with corrosion and stuff like that. So, we have seen, uh, Occasionally, just the solenoid code with no um, gear ratio code accompanied by it, and then we would uh, get the harness out. Sometimes we couldn't even get the harness out. Got to drop the, we got to undo the bolt, and then it's kind of stuck in there. So we got to drop the pan and take the solenoid pack down and hit the thing up. And then when you look at it, it's all you know corroded and stuff like that. So we did have to do. Uh, some external harnesses. They do sell a repair kit. Uh, my supplier sells it and you really just got to do wire for wire and then also more than likely change the solenoid pack too, especially if there was water in there. But I have seen that um, occasionally. We've had that here a few times where we did have to put the solenoid pack and the external repair kit in for the harness. But for the most part, um, you know, we're dealing with, with these codes. Um, mechanical problems so when you when you have that code you know you want to just make sure that there's nothing else accompanied by it because you know I've seen it plenty of times when uh, the people say no that's the only code when in fact it's not the only code uh, so you really need to use a, uh, honestly a halfway decent scan tool a, a snap on an Ortel or, or something else that's gonna pull all the codes out because these little handheld ones, for some reason, and I've seen it more than once, just pull the pressure control solenoid code out and, and nothing more. All right, so let me get a little closer here and we'll go over what can make these codes show up, the P0745, the P0775, mainly on the 5R55Ss. This one here, uh, we're dealing with a broken band. I didn't drive the car, 
but obviously it, it slipped real bad in third or had no third. Okay, and then I'm going to give you a close-up shot of the piston because when the band does break, the piston moves too far because now, you know, there's nothing there for the thing to push the band on. And then as it returns, it cuts the piston. And I also wanted to go over a proper installment of the band struts because that can give you problems as well. All right, so let me get a little closer. I um, uh, had ordered, uh, you know, I always change the pistons, uh, the new ones, uh, and then accidentally one of them came in that really wasn't so good. As you can see here, it's broken. So that is going back. All right, and I also have the case. I also have the case bored out already, and every overhaul gets these, I'll give you a shot of these two, these Northland sleeves uh, for the band. So, um, you know, case wearing out is a huge problem with this thing. And the way these pistons get applied is they get applied through the center. Um, the oil comes in here, so when it's inside and the case is worn out, you're gonna lose your oil right through there as well. All right, so let me get a little closer. We'll just go over uh, what can cause these codes to show up. I wanna show you what I found um, with this one I'm working on. Struts, sleeves, and uh, we'll finish it up. All right, so I will be right back. Okay, so let me show you first what happened to the transmission I'm working on. All right, and this of course had the P0733 to P0745 for pressure control solenoid A, broken band. All right, very common problem. Also the front band for second and fifth, that breaks a lot as well. Okay, and when that happens, I think the, the piston moves a little too far and then when it returns, it cuts it. So this is, this is cut right here, if you can see that. Okay, um, so what can typically make these pressure control solenoid codes show up? Um, broken bands like this in the um, front and in the rear, uh, worn out case bores uh, because the oil gets applied uh, through the center of the pin and if it's worn it's just going to kind of, you know, blow right out into the case. You can, you'll see a major leak there. Uh, this one on uh, on the third, let me just uh, okay. You guys can see that on the third. This one had this car is eighty nine thousand miles on it, and actually I took my scribe and put it through, and it was it actually felt like there was a step in there. So the case was definitely definitely worn out. Um, so I bored it out, and these are the I'm sure you've seen these before the sleeves. Okay, so you got to put these feed, this is uh, also is what feeds the, uh, um, the piston. So these have to face up uh, towards the valve body and you just gotta line the holes up and tolerance is nice, it's very tight so you will not have any leak at all. All right, so again, worn cases, broken bands, torn pistons. Uh, broken pistons, this one here, the center likes to break out. I'll give you the gear ratio error in second and fifth. All right, and I was also reading uh, on the ATSG website that even installing the struts, the band struts wrong, uh, can give you a problem. So I figured I'd go over the correct installation of the band struts. Okay, so you have the piston on one side and you have the adjustment on the other side. Here is the adjustment. And this one uh, goes on the adjustment side. Okay, so uh, you have a large notch here and you have a small notch here. Okay, so the correct installation of this is the small notch faces up, away from the valve body. Okay, and this one will go on the same side as the servo piston. And if you look at this, kind of looks like a, maybe a house here. Okay, that is going to face up away from the valve body. So that uh, uh, is the correct installation of the band struts. 
Uh, all right, so I have my new bands here. Always change the new band, always change the bands. Always change all three bands, actually, even a reverse band. That reverse band likes to wear out. So I guess that's about it on these um, pressure control solenoid codes, you know, especially with this one, A and B, and again, the, the uh, solenoid is responsible to maintain proper pressure within that circuit, and when it doesn't, um, that's why that code gets flagged, and also the gear ratio code, because on the shift, you know, the computer's looking for the ratio change, and if it doesn't see it, it's gonna flag the 733 code, and if there's an issue, you know, like it'll keep raising, maybe raising the line pressure to try to get the band to apply. It'll throw the the solenoid code. You know, the computer will blame the solenoid. That's why those codes show up. So, you know, the big thing is, is when you scan these things, hey, do I have another code present with this 745 or 775? You can also drive the car. You can see how it shifts. If you have, if it seems like you have a long shift, which is the first shift, like you would think it would be a one, two shift. If it's a long shift, it's actually a one, three shift. So, you know, you're dealing more than likely with a broken band. And with third, um, you know, it'll probably maybe run away or flare real bad uh, for third. Then you get that 745 code and in second and fifth, you'll get that 775 code. So, and on the 5R55Ns, um, you know, that spring likes to break to give you no fourth and fifth, but I rarely, if ever, I don't think I ever saw the PO975, which is pressure control solenoid C, on the 5R55 S's and W's. Um, but it is common from, uh, on the ends, you know, when that spring breaks. Uh, all right, I guess that is about it um, on these pressure control solenoid codes. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, and we will see you next one.